So this weekend, we're getting a new raid for Blaziken with the Flying Terra type. Obviously, it's going to be a seven star raid and it's going to be quite difficult as usual. So this event will be beginning on Friday, the 12th of January up until the 14th. And then again, the following weekend from January 19th to January 21st. You can see the dates in the description for more details. As always, with all seven star raids, Blaziken is going to have the mightiest mark and it's going to be level 100. Let's go ahead and look what its stats are. Now, Blaziken is a traditionally a fire and fighting type Pokemon, but it's going to have the flying Terra type for this battle, which is quite interesting because flying is actually a weakness to, you know, Blaziken. Like you can use flying to beat Blaziken on its own without this. But because Blaziken is fire and fighting and with the flying terror type, it does limit what kind of typings you can use against it. But we'll get to that. Let's first look at its hidden ability, which is going to be speed boost. Its speed boost stat is gradually boosted. So every turn that goes by, its speed is going to go up one stage, up to a maximum of six stages. In terror raids, I don't think this actually does much. If they somehow make it work, it will end up attacking twice per turn eventually maybe sometimes three times per turn that sounds horrible but i don't think speed really works that way in terror raids correct me if i'm wrong in the, the comments down below i'm not sure about this but as for the base stats this pokemon is generally basic on like the hp the defense special defense and speed but its attack stat is really high and its special attack stat is really high so it's going to hit you very hard, but it's not going to have a lot of defense. So it's probably going to have something in the raid that's going to either make it hit a lot harder or be a lot more effective at hurting you. Or it's going to be using something that, you know, really protects it or like, you know, reduces your stats to keep you out of the fight. Now, if we look at the super effective moves or Pokemon types that are good against flying type Pokemon, we come up here with Electric Ice and rock. Now remember, Blaziken is a fire and fighting type Pokemon. Fire and fighting are good against ice and fighting is good against rock. So ice and rock not really gonna work. You're gonna get hit really hard. So your only move here or your only type that you can go for is electric. And we already have a ton of electric type Pokemon that we can look at. Now, if I open up my mystery box here of battle Pokemon that we can use here. Now, we have Iron Hands, who is a fighting electric type. I just want to kind of like tell you that this is probably not going to work in case you go like, oh, we have Iron Hands. Remember that flying is super effective against fighting. So if you bring Iron Hands, you're going to have a problem with any flying type moves with the Terra type, you know, Blaziken against you. So Iron Hands probably not going to work just as a foreshadowing, just so before you know. I think the best Pokemon for this is probably going to end up being Miraidon, which is an electric dragon type. If you have this with the electric Terra type, obviously at level 100, best IVs across the board or hyper trained. You're going to have this with the modest nature. Its ability is always going to be Hadron Engine. Now the held item that we're going to be using is the Metronome, but you can change this out for a Shell Bell. Like I said, all of these things are going to be subject to change on the day of the raid. I will be doing it on the day of the raid, seeing if this works. And if it doesn't, I will be making a video of what Pokemon you can use. So if you're reluctant to build a Pokemon now, wait until Friday, wait until videos come out of builds that are working on how to beat the raid successfully. But the moves we're going to be using are Metal Sound, Reflect, Calm Mind, and parabolic charge. Coupled with this, we're going to have 252 EVs into special attack and 252 EVs into HP. In terms of how are you going to fight this battle, it's most likely a lot of people are assuming that there's going to be physical attacks coming off of Blaziken. So you can start out your battle using a reflect, which reduces damage from physical moves for five turns. You can keep this up every five turns so that this, you know, damage reduction is always in play. And then we have two setup moves here, Metal Sound, which is going to harshly lower the special defense of the target. If you can use this up to three times, that would be perfect, depending on if this raid lets you, sometimes it will reset itself too often. We also have Calm Mind that lets us boost our own special attack and special defense, but one stage at a time, which is an alternative like setup. But ultimately your goal is going to be use Reflect and then probably maybe one or two Metal Sounds 
if you can, if there's something that in the raid stops you from using this, you will probably immediately go into parabolic charge until you can terrestrialize into the electric terror type and you're going to spam the parabolic charge while you're holding the metronome item which is going to make it stronger the more you spam this move over and over and over and over again. And parabolic charge is going to heal you each time that you, you know, land a hit with this. And essentially that should get you the victory. I know some other people are using the old belly bolt. I never actually built a belly bolt for any of the raids. I just used me right on for the electric typing. So you can use a belly bolt as well. But on the day of the raid, I will be making a full guide on how to actually beat this raid with a Pokemon that's accessible to at least everybody. Because I know not everybody's going to have a me ride on as well as a Coridon, for example, like I do. So I'll see you guys then. And thank you so much for watching this video.